Hey everyone, another episode of Simply Salesforce here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to update multi-select pick list using record trigger flows for uh, fields on the contact or lead records. And we're going to be making sure that we can append to a multi-select pick list without overwriting it. So let's start here with our flow uh, to update contact records. And in this case, what we wanted was when someone was added into a campaign, we wanted to automatically update a certain multi-select pick list to include that specialty. So what we're gonna do here is just open up what triggers our flow. And you can see here that that is a campaign member object, uh, being a record being created here. So we've got that set. And we wanna make sure that we set some condition requirements that this particular flow only runs when, it, when a campaign member is being created in a certain campaign. So we've gone ahead and added in that campaign ID. Next step here is we wanna get the contact record associated with that campaign member. So we've got that here. We select contact as our object and we have our field ID equals the record contact ID. And I've also got this set to all records down here. Take note of that. And we're done there. And at this point, um, so now we know that a campaign member has been created. We have the contact record and basically want to create a decision here that is going to look for that, that field. Has it already been selected on that record? So in this case, you'll see here that, you know, therapeutic focus is the field that we're looking at. And we want to know, does it already contain Alzheimer's disease? Because if it does, then we don't want to continue with the rest of flow. We want it to end. All right. So um, in the case that it is already selected, we're going to end the flow. And here, and if it's not already selected, then we're going to continue. And the next step here is to loop through the align items of that record. So we're pretty pulling the contact record from our previous step. As you can see here, get contact record. That is over here. And we're going to add some assignments. Now, before you do that, what I recommend doing is creating the variable here. I have uh, a variable text, right? So it's uh, the text variable. And make sure you check off available for input and output. Click done. Now we're gonna add this assignment here. So basically, we are having this loop through all of the options that have already been selected for this field. And then we're adding a semicolon value, right? And this is getting added and stored into this text variable. And it's gonna run through each one. And then at the very end of this, we wanna make sure that we add uh, the field that we wanna end up selecting. So in this case, Alzheimer's disease, make sure we have a semicolon. And this is basically creating like a delimited uh, list with the semicolons and it's restoring all the data. Uh, and this is how you make sure you don't overwrite and you can append, right? So after the last one of all that is completed, it comes down here and it updates the contact from the, cam um, the campaign member, right? So here you wanna update records related to the campaign member that trigger the flow. And I said, this might be different depending on what you're doing, but the, it still generally works, right? And the record relates to the campaign member is that contact ID. So we have that there. And what we wanna update is this therapeutic focus field. And the value is gonna be equal to that variable text that we had created and looped the items through. So once you do that, you're set. So now whenever you go to add someone to a campaign or they're being automatically added from another program, you're gonna get your multi-select pick list automatically updated. Now, unfortunately, if you're working with leads, you're gonna to have to create another flow or make a more complicated flow here and update this one. Um, I'm creating a second one. Uh, because you're going to probably run into a little bit of an error that does not have an explanation. And this was explained to me on the Trailhead forums by a Salesforce genius. So basically what we've done here is we've added an assignment before the get contact record here, right? So all the things need to be adjusted for your lead. And in this case, that means you're going to need to right? Um, like in the get contact record here, you need to update to make sure that the object lead is selected and the ID here is actually gonna be equal to a new variable that is created in the step before in an assignment. So this is our text variable that we've created, lead ID variable, and it's just a text variable. Make sure you check off these two buttons. Now let's look at this assignment that we added, right? Assignment for the lead ID variable. This is basically doing the same thing, but it's storing that ID in that variable text. This is all it is, right? So we have our variable and it's equal to the lead ID record because I was running into an error where um, it just would not pull it properly. And this was the resolution. So now we're just gonna go through the rest of this, make sure you have the complete picture, right? Now we have here that, uh, that lead field, right? 
This is the lead version field of the other one because you're going to have two different fields and you need to make sure that they're mapped, right? On lead and your contact, totally different uh, topic, right? I'll put a little pop up here if you need to map your lead fields to your contact fields when they're converted. But um, that's all set here. Same thing for looping through the line items, right? We're still referring back to the get contact record. And now we are adding in, right? We're adding in right here, there are our lead therapeutic focus, semicolon, same thing. Now we're adding in the field that we want to append in Alzheimer's disease, semicolon, right? It's getting stored in this text variable, goes through it all. And then we're updating our lead associated with being that campaign member here. So we've updated this to say lead record or lead ID. And we've got this updated here for our lead therapeutic focus. And it's pulling from the value of our text variable. So that is the workaround here to make sure that this, this same thing for contact works with your leads. So you're going to probably have two flows or one extra special flow, um, which I have not put the time together to combine them yet, but this is how you do it. If you have any questions, let me know. And if I don't know, then I will have to um, refer you to the Shrailhead forums, which is great. Tons of great people on there willing to answer your questions. So thank you to everybody on there. Um, have a great day. Bye.